Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we're going to have a look at and reassess the possibility of a a Chinese invasion of uh, Taiwan. And I know uh, before the uh, the Russian invasion of the uh, Ukraine, there may have been uh, some perceptions about uh, certain capabilities the Chinese may have had uh, in regards to its uh, capability to uh, to invade and occupy uh, Taiwan. Uh, even uh, prior to uh, the uh, the the Russian Ukraine war, I uh, have always. Uh, been of the opinion that uh, the Chinese do not have the capability to invade uh, Taiwan. Uh, compounding that, uh, kind of f- the future-facing issue of uh, of China of China uh, invading uh, Taiwan uh, is still something that uh, the Chinese are really going to have to focus on uh, circumventing uh, uh, the uh, the capabilities of uh, of Taiwan to de- de- to defend the island. And, uh, and then obviously increase its amphibious warfare capability, meaning the Chinese, uh, to facilitate uh, an invasion of Taiwan. Uh, China could probably blockade the island, and I would say that is uh, right now a, a high probability if conflict were to break out. Uh, that is uh, one uh, tactic, strategy, that you could see the Chinese uh, utilize. And I would say it would, it would probably be uh, uh, much more successful than an all-out uh, amphibious invasion of Taiwan, which I don't think uh, the Chinese uh, have that kind of a capability. And, and just to kind of give you an idea of uh, why I'm saying that, uh, a lot of uh, uh, laymen or uh, novice uh, military analysts simply look at China as this giant nation-state with a billion, 400 million people, and then they look at Taiwan, obviously, with with uh, in excess of 20 million people and say, well, well, inherently, uh, naturally, that uh, China would just completely overwhelm ta- Taiwan. Well, if, if Taiwan was, was landlocked with, with China and shared a land border, then I would say uh, that probability obviously increases uh, quite a bit. But because of this uh, vast expanse of ocean, the Taiwan Straits that separate China, and given that... Uh, uh, China would have to uh, assemble the largest uh, amphibious landing force in the history of warfare uh, to take control of, of Taiwan. Uh, that is the, uh, that's what poses the big obstacle right now uh, for China. Obviously, China could, could induct its, uh, uh, its, uh, its merchant marine fleet and its civil, uh, uh, civilian uh, vessels uh, in this operation. But uh, would it be enough? And I, I would say at this point the answer is obviously a no because there's a lot of uh, other factors that, uh, that would come into this uh, operation uh, for the Chinese. And, and, and one is number one and, and most glaring is Taiwan itself. This is an incredibly difficult nut to crack. Even for a, a hypothetical uh, U.S. invasion of Taiwan, which would be incredibly difficult for the United States, uh, would, would uh, and and, that, and that's because of, of what Taiwan is the the natural uh, uh, layout of of the uh, uh, island nation. There are not a lot of landing beaches on Taiwan. It is the perfect uh, island in terms of terrain to uh, to defend. Uh, much of uh, Taiwan is uh, vast forested mountains uh, that have triple canopy, so very, very difficult in some cases to uh, see uh, what is uh, actually uh, on the ground, uh, even with uh, some, some more ad- advanced uh, 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 ground radar systems. Still, still difficult because of the nature of, uh, of the terrain. And again, getting back to just the... Uh, the beaches, and uh, and we've uh, we've heard some reports that uh, the Thai, the Chinese could land in, in the north. They could land maybe someplace in the south, maybe along the uh, the, the the eastern coast. But that would be even more difficult uh, be, because of the uh, of the terrain. The uh, the mountains are much 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 more closer. Uh, given the uh, the Taiwanese the the and even more enhanced ability uh, to uh, to defend the island, and then the concept of 
can the uh, Chinese even secure a port facility, uh, which uh, is is another another big issue for uh, the uh, uh, the Chinese. But if you look at uh, if you if you ever get a chance to just go to Google Earth and uh, have a real look at uh, just kind of what the uh, uh, the uh, Chinese are facing, and and you can clearly see these beaches. Uh, have been obstacleized and uh, very, very, very difficult for a, a Chinese invasion. We'll go to just the kind of the street view to give you an idea. Look at this. So, I mean, you have to land the, on the island and you have to then have the ability to offload troops and equipment. And uh, this makes it really difficult. And furthermore, you, you also have the issue of, of and, and just, I'm talking about the issue of terrain and, and obstacles, not active uh, uh, offensive operations by the and defensive operations by the Taiwan military uh, but even off the coast you have obstacles that are there to uh, damage ships and, and then obviously mines as well and uh, just the uh, I mean something that's just much much more difficult than the vast beaches that uh, for instance that uh, that were at Normandy during the uh, Allied invasion of uh, of uh, France, and uh, what we'll do is we'll kind of go and give you another example of, and we'll kind of head to the south, and and there are some beaches that that do exist that uh, I guess you could call them beaches, but it, it, it again just landing is one thing, and then and then maneuvering once you've landed uh, in the face of direct artillery strikes and the in the face of direct uh, counter operations by the uh, the Taiwan military by the Republic of China military you, you know even if you do land and you start to move inland you you just have so many uh, areas that uh, are are swampy or or of, of kind of like rice, rice paddies in nature paddies paddy fields that are just not conducive to any type of uh, Armored warfare. You have, you know, internal terrain features: rivers, lakes, streams, uh, and then paddy fields that can be flooded. That uh, would give the uh, Chinese uh, a, a immense amount of uh, problems. And here we'll look at another another beach just to kind of give you, the viewer, an idea of what the uh, and this would be more or less uh, a a beach, and and there are very limited of these types of beaches that the uh, Chinese could land on. And uh, this is one uh, example. Uh, Taiwan, you got to clean up your beaches, guys. This is really bad. But um, the, uh, this, is, this is the best example of a beach that the uh, Chinese could land on. And, uh, and, and once they land, which may or may not be close to a... Uh, port facility then you, that's where the, the real problems uh, arise and this is again probably one of the best uh, possible outlooks for uh, the uh, the Chinese in terms of uh, uh, landing zones for 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 beaches but uh, then after that, you know, obviously, if they if they do move inland, they they then have to seize uh, a port, and that's going to take probably moving directly towards uh, some sort of uh, of large city, and uh, and then you're you're looking at uh, a a a multitude of of urban combat. You're looking at uh, you're looking at uh, I don't want to call it jungle combat, but but you do have uh, heavily forested areas. Uh, that uh, we'll kind of go down and look at this here real quick just to give you an idea of what again just really heavily built built up areas um, vast cityscapes and uh, and lots of uh, of terrain uh, especially in some of these forested areas that would just be really really difficult and and that's if they're even able to get on to the beach uh, that that's that's the big issue, I would say, uh, right now is would uh, China have that 
that ability. And uh, it's, it's really kind of an unknown factor at this point. It really is. Um, you know, as I, I talked about here, this gives you just an example of kind of the terrain. And you're looking at this, you know, really uh, ideal area for short-range anti anti-tank systems that would come into play, and uh, just just a nightmare for uh, any kind of opposing force uh, to operate. And that's before we even really kind of get into the mountains, the forested mountains further uh, to the west as as well. But uh, I I think you know just at in terms of what we're looking at right now that's happening between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, obviously, I, I do believe that, uh, that China's Navy is better than the Russian Navy. Uh, they're, they're probably a step ahead of the Russians uh, technologically, especially in, in certain uh, areas of, uh, of, of radar systems. And uh, they build ships quicker, faster, and bigger than the uh, Russians do as well. So it, it is different. But at the same time, uh, the, uh, the, the, Taiwan, the Taiwanese have, uh, the Republic of China, uh, also have uh, some, some very, very advanced systems and the ability to uh, produce uh, very, very advanced systems that would make it very, very difficult. So first, obviously, you're looking at the, the largest uh, amphibious landing uh, in history, and, and at some point, uh, China would have to gain uh, at least air dominance over Taiwan, and that, that's going to be a struggle. I understand that uh, the, uh, the initial thought process, well, that China is just going to uh, launch hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and destroy the, uh, uh, the Republic of China, the Taiwanese uh, military, uh, Air Force on the ground. But you cannot uh, absolutely say that for certain, given uh, the preparations uh, by uh, Taiwan. A lot of these uh, airfields are, are uh, in uh, uh, underground facilities and have the ability to uh, mo uh, move into underground facilities and, and then uh, have uh, access points uh, in terms of uh, uh, roadways and uh, other structures. And I believe this is one that will really give you a, a, a good uh, idea of kind of what uh, ha and how the uh, uh, the uh, ha how Taiwan has uh, pre prepared, and you can see these uh, go into this mountain to the west of the airfield. And I, and I get that uh, that uh, China would would try and crater this uh, area, but the but uh, Taiwan would be repairing these airfields, and uh, it's going to take some time for uh, the Chinese to assemble this 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 giant amphibious fleet and probably it would have to have multiple fleets uh, at that in order if it's if its full goal was to uh, invade and subjugate uh, the island of Taiwan but again this is just the worst case example of an island if you had to invade an island <laughs> Taiwan would be the worst island that you would you could possibly uh, invade and uh, and not only that just because of of natural terrain features and natural obstacles, but uh, just the cities themselves that China would be fighting in, and these are these are urban super cities that are even bigger than what we're seeing right now uh, in in Ukraine. And you know, I mean, you would you would see the you would see Taiwan defending these sites, these these cities. Look at this. Let's go in here and have a look. Absolute nightmare. Don't don't even don't even know how you would do it. I, you know, I think we've seen because of the the uh, development of humanity, the the now existence of these uh, of these super cities, and and we've not seen a real combat take place in what you would uh, define as a uh, as a, as a as a human megacity yet. It just hasn't been done, and especially you know that's just that's a city in the south. If you go up further to uh, uh, to, to uh, Taipei, the capital, it uh, it it gets obviously even worse. And we'll kind of scroll in where you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about and just how you know dense it is from from a urban perspective. That uh, I mean, 
how do you do this? I, I uh, it it would be something that just hasn't even been experienced yet. In in regards to uh, fighting with these kind of mega structures in this kind of dense this dense urban urban environment, it it would be that the the Chinese, as quite frankly, the United States uh, would be learning as it went in terms of just how to uh, tackle these these mega cities as a as a military objective. Don't know how you would do it. I mean, I know how you would do it. It would be based on experience and trial and error and and what have you, but, uh, but, uh, did I lose it? I think I did. Anyway, but, uh, that's what we have for today. Just wanted to talk about that, show you the viewer of kind of what we were, uh, what we're seeing and, uh, and, and just in terms of, uh, I would say the, the rapidly degrading prospect of a, uh, of a, of a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. Just don't see it happening. Embargo, Blockade, maybe, uh, but uh, just no way possible right now, at least in this decade, for uh, China to, to accomplish that goal. Have a good day, everybody.